Hello guys and welcome to another video. From the version 4 of our Yeath WooCommerce Ajax product filter plugin, we said you can show the filters also in category and custom pages, not only in the standard shop page. But how do we do that? We already made a video to show you how you can use the widget, the shortcode and the Gutenberg blocks in a custom page, but many of you asked how you can show the filters in a category page. In today's video, I will explain exactly how to do that. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Here we are inside the sandbox I use for the Ajax product filter videos. On the left, we can see we have the sidebar already configured with all the filters. I can filter any product that I want. Now, these filters appear here because we are in the shop page and we have configured it in this way. However, if we would go to a category page like man or woman, we would see something different. I'll go to man to show you. In this case, we only see the products that belong within this category, but we don't have any filters. This happens because the shop page and the category pages are completely different. The shop page is managed from WooCommerce and the Pages menu. In fact, let me go now and show you. We can go to Dashboard. We go to Pages and All Pages. Here we can see all the pages we have created for the store, like Cart, Checkout, My Account. But the categories are managed from a different area. For that, we need to go to Products and Categories. In this case, here we see all the categories we have created for the products. As an example, we have woman and man, as we saw in the demo. For the standard pages, I have the option to customize them. But for the categories, I don't have the same options. Let's go back first to pages and I'll show you. Here, I will go to shop and edit. Here, I am able to customize the page. I can, for example, edit the text or I can add a new block if I wanted to. And also I can manage the page settings with different options. Right now, I want to show you especially this one right here, the sidebar management. In my case, I want to use the position to the left and I choose the sidebar too. Now, for the categories, it doesn't work in the same way. Let's go back and I'll show you the difference. Here, if we go to Man Category, for example, and Edit, we can immediately see there is a big difference. In this case, I am not able to add blocks or interact in the same way. At this point, you have two options. One is to use a theme that allows you to associate a sidebar to the category, and the other one is to use a custom page to show specific products for specific categories. Now, let's start with the first option. Inside the category settings, WooCommerce allows you to edit the name, slug, parent category, description, display type, and thumbnail. But there are some themes that allow you to customize a bit more these options, including the option to add a sidebar. One of these themes is our Proteo theme, that you can download for free from our website. I have already installed it, so let's go back. We are back inside the category settings. Now, thanks to our theme, we are able to configure the sidebar inside our category page. For that, I will select the position to the left and I will select the sidebar 2. Now, I just update and now we can go and have a look from the demo. Now we are in the main category page, we have just edit. Here you can see since we have configured our sidebar, now we are able to see all the filters for this category. The only thing that it is important to keep in mind is that we have only configured the man category page, so these settings will not translate to any other category. In fact, if we go to woman, in this case, it is same as before. We are only able to see the products that belong to this category, so we have to configure the settings here as well. Now, we don't have to go all the way to Dashboard, Products and Category. We also have the option to go directly from here. 
Edit Category. We will do exactly the same. We can select left for the position and I want to show the sidebar too. I update and we can go back. As you can see, now we also have the sidebar with all the filters here in our woman category page. This is possible because we are using a theme that allows us to configure the sidebar directly within the category settings. Now, if you don't have a similar theme like our Proteo, then the only option is to opt for the second alternative I mentioned earlier. That is to create a new WordPress page. So let's go now and try that option. I'll go over to dashboard. We go to pages and add new. I will name it woman new category page. Now I want to insert the products. For that, I go here and add a new block. I select products by category. And here I look for woman and done. Now that we have the products, I will go to page settings to manage the sidebar. Right here from sidebar management, I select the position to the left and I select the sidebar too. Now we're ready to publish. Okay. And now I will do the same thing for the man category. Here, I will do exactly the same. I will give it a title, in this case, man, new category page. Now I will add a block to insert the products. So products by category. Here I select man and done. Now I can proceed to the page settings. Again, sidebar management, position to the left and sidebar 2. I publish again. Perfect. Now we're ready and we can go to the front end. Okay, this is our new man category page. As you can see, we have our products and also the filters within the sidebar here to the left. Now there is one thing we also need to do and that is to edit this menu. Otherwise, if we clicked on woman and man categories, we would still go back to the old pages. So, in order to edit the menu, we can go directly from here and click on Menus. First, from here, you will be able to select which menu you want to edit. In my case, I will leave Primary. Now I move on here and I open the Woman page and I just click on Remove. I will do the same for Man, again Remove, and now I move to the left here and I find the pages that I want to add to the menu. In this case, man and woman new category page. I add to menu and here we have them. All we need to do now is save menu and then we can go back to see what happened. Here we're back inside the shop page. If we have a look at the menu, now we see the new categories that I added. Now I left these names only to show you the difference. But of course, you can change them by going back to the menu settings. Now let's go have a look into each one. If I click here, now we can see our new page with both the products and the filters. And the same will happen if we go now to woman new category page. We will see the new page we created. Now, when we're working with this option where we add a new page, then there is one last thing that we need to do. In this case, we need to change the structure of the permalinks. So let's go now and do that. We arrive here from settings permalink. Unfortunately, if we are working with this second option, we are not able to use the permalinks based on site, shop, product, category. If we did when the user entered the category page, he would see the original one, meaning the one without the filters. So in this case, we need to change the permalinks. I know this is not the best solution, but like I mentioned before, if you are not working with a theme that allows you to manage the sidebar directly from the category settings, then this will be the only option to manage the filters for a category page. Guys, that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.